here with uh, Stuart Smith. Yes. How you do? How you do? At Awake and Haunt. Sir? Hello, hello. At Awake and Haunt. And, and this is uh, Awake and uh, After Hours. Awake and After Hours in Metropolis of Leslie, Michigan. The Metropolis. And we're Metropolis. trying to look up uh, Stuart. Uh, well, Stuart, why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and what, it, what you do? Um, I travel the world and paint monsters. So no, really, what? No. Don't worry, exactly what I do. Yeah, I tell that everybody, and they always get the blank stare on that one too. So, uh, yeah, we travel the world, all over the place, painting things that go bump in the night. Been doing it for 22 years. Man, what kind of? Uh, so, what kind of paint? So it's so mostly UV, 3D, um, laser tags, haunted houses, dark rides. Um, we're mostly independent, but we do do work for um, some independent contractors. Um, out of New York <laughs> City, and um, so we stay pretty busy doing that, and pretty much haunted houses is the deal. Wow! So. And you're at a haunted house and I'm right at now. A house right now, working, working. That's crazy. I'm announced to these people. I'm covered in paint. I just look good in a t-shirt. That's <laughs> <Right>. clean. You know, <laughs> video <laughs> magic. <laughs> <laughs> so online dot info. So your website again is Stewardism. Spell that. S T U A R T I Z is in zebra M dash online dot info. Online dot info. Yep. And that you got that when you said in nineteen ninety eight. Yeah, actually yeah. that's recent. And, <laughs> and you have a AOL email as well? No, no. No? no okay. No. All right. Dot info. Um so you've been doing it twenty two years. Have you been doing it full time for twenty two years? Yes. What did you do prior to it? I uh, worked at a camp chef factory. Camp seven ship. years. Seven years. Polishing department and uh, quality control. Yeah. Wow. Huh. And you were painting during that time, though, too? Oh, yeah. 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 I was just, you know, we went, uh, um, been drawing all my life and stuff. Started airbrushing a little bit in high school. And then um, got married and had to support my lovely bride. So uh, we, uh, I went to job, bit of camshaft factory. Went to school for a while and that didn't really work out. Um, and uh, worked there for seven and a half years until finally I got fired because I got in an argument with my supervisor and uh, he had quit smoking and <laughs> became kind of a prick. So, uh, <laughs> and um, so we sat back and said, okay, it's now or never, let's do it. So I got a call from one of my friends from school and said, this guy needs a arcade done. And it happened to be a laser tag. And they said, you have to use glow-in-the-dark paint, which happened to be UV paint, which I'd never touched before. So that was our first laser tag and 130 later. Um, and then doing all the haunted houses and stuff. It's, um, it's been quite the roller coaster. So. Wow. So how long, when, um, so at what age did you start drawing, at what age did you realize that you had a talent? Like five. How, five? Yeah, I went to, I had to repeat first grade because yeah i had dude i i had to repeat third i repeated third oh see i i repeated first uh first grade myself i couldn't spell my own name but doug on i could draw me a bionic eye you know (laughs) you betcha (laughs) you know six million dollar man that was the show you know so that's tough when you fail kindergarten well yeah you know that taking a nap thing was an issue but uh um (laughs) um, but yeah i i uh Teachers had me doing all sorts of art for the thing and figured out I, I didn't know crap by the time I got out of first grade. So we moved to another place. My, and uh, my dad became chief of police in Muskegon. And um, we moved to another school and I had to start over again. And and uh, they were really on me to, and my parents, you know, did not want me to be an artist. They didn't? They, no, didn't, no, no, they no. didn't encourage it? No. No, they said, you know, lazy bum kind of situation. So, uh, um, you know, it's funny. I. I make triple what my dad did. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I guess I guess I did okay. You yeah. Did right <laughs> now, did you do uh, like art in high school? And yep. Yeah, just drawing mostly. Any so, contests or anything like that? No, not really. Just for I mean, yourself. I, I never, you know, just for myself, sketchbooks and stuff. And and when I got fired from Engine Power, well, actually during Engine Power, while I was trying to hopefully go, I was thinking about being a gallery artist and stuff, but. I really didn't hang well with those people that didn't like to shower. So, um, <laughs> you know, we some of the kids in school, they would like, you know, Stuart, don't use soap because if you get it on your body, you won't be able to communicate with God. 
you know, when, when I can smell you before you're around the corner. Yeah. Right, what, yeah. Right, right. right. <laughs> okay. yeah. He kinda, doesn't want to talk to you either, you know? So. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of school did you go to? Well, I, I, I spent one year and five weeks at Pensacola Christian College in Florida, and I was expelled for not telling on a fellow student. Came home, Chris and I got married, and then I went to Grand Valley State. And I was there to the middle of a sophomore year when our second munchkin had uh, announced himself and said, okay, this is not working, you know? And the last class I had, <laughs> these fine artist people are pukes, okay? It's because uh, <laughs> they're in there and, this, and it was dialogue time, so you're supposed to sit there and do your drawing. And I had six or seven of them up there and stuff. And of course I was the cold hearted person because I, I wasn't trying to fight global warming or anything like that. I just wanted to draw cool stuff. And everybody else, you know, this one guy there, his cat had been hit on the road. You know, I know, tears, stop it. Okay. And um, he had his chalk drawing with <laughs> scratches on it, and it's all ripped. And he's telling his story, and the kids are crying, and the teacher's crying, and I'm crying because I'm going, oh, my God, what am I paying for? <laughs> right. These people need to be shot, you know? So um, that was it. I was done. And then I started filling sketchbooks while I worked at Engine Power. And then, um, you know, opportunity prevailed. So... I got a pile of sketchbooks this high at home, and we would watch TV, and I just fill sketchbooks. And I was, I was working 12, 13 hours a day at the camshaft factory. So, um, then come home, and then we were watching movies and stuff, um, just sketch away, trying to work out ideas. And I think that's the reason why now I can go into a five thousand square foot laser tag or haunted house and make it up as I go. I mean, I don't sketch right. out anything. Just go in there and throw paint. Yeah, you know, that's it's true. Amazing. True artist, right there, though. When yeah. you can do that, pull it off. Yeah, it's just freestyle. Well, it's a lot of hard work. And then, you know, shoot the first couple of arenas we did, you know, it's, it's 4,000, it's 3,000 square feet. I mean, it's like, can you do it? Oh, yeah, I can do it. You know, it's, oh, my God. You know, but uh, we did it. <laughs> right, you did do, it you, do, you, uh, do you remember the first haunt that you did? Yes, Nightmare Forest. In, yeah. Uh, well, back up a little bit. We did <laughs> do a little bit. And people said I was stupid for doing it. But there was a local JCs in Grand Rapids, and they said, hey, Stu, we don't have any money. But if we buy the paints, we could come do some artwork for us. And I didn't have anything in my portfolio that was haunt related, more sci fi fantasy. And I said, sure. So I went and worked at the JC's, got a lot of cool photographs. Everybody's like, Stuart, you should be paid, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I've been paid. Those pictures made me a lot of money over the years. And it was just two or three days of working in their haunt. And uh, it was those pictures were worth their weight in gold, and then just from like a portfolio standpoint. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, because oh, yeah. then that last, then that year, I went to IAPA, you know, put a suit on with my portfolio, went booth to booth, and uh, that's when we nailed uh, Wonderworks, which is down in Orlando, they, that upside down building. Mm -hmm. We did the laser tag on top of that, um, and uh, so that was worth going to IAPA. Um, but uh, boy, you know. Part, part of the, th there are a lot of artists in the industry and a lot of good artists. Problem is, is that what they're not teaching these kids when they're going to art school, if they go to art school at all, that this stuff is 60% business, 40% artwork. You got to be able to talk to people. Right. You got to be able to look presentable. You don't need to look like the art you're producing. You know, the long hair and piercings <laughs> and tattoos and looking like you just jumped out of National Geographic because I'm the artist, okay? <laughs> and, you know, I put a suit on, I could pass the offer and play to church, you know? It's like, in, and, uh, I mean, I've had people call me literally and say, you know, Stu, really love your artwork, but are you a freak? Because we don't want that type of person at our establishment. Do you tell them yes? Oh, why? Well, I said, I, you know, it all depends <laughs> on who you're talking to, but... Uh, <laughs> well, like, right? yes, I mean, kind of. I mean, what is your <laughs> definition of a freak? Well, I said, yeah, yeah, it's just, I mean, you know, it all depends, and they turned out to be pukes anyways, but um, um, yeah, I have all sorts of stories from the day. But Nightmare Forest was my first major site um, out in the woods, Otter Creek Park, bugs, snakes, Hicks, yep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, we got Hicks around here, but man, you go, you go there. It's it's a whole different animal. Where's okay. that at? That's in Otter Creek Park. Uh, it's is it down by Radcliffe? Yeah, Radcliffe area. My wife's over there, people. So it's like she'll correct me <laughs> when I'm wrong. And um, 
If not now, later. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you totally screwed that. <laughs> it was not even the first one we ever did. <laughs> hey, hey. It's, it's good, man. So, and then have you traveled around the world? And done yes, it? yes. I've been to Hong Kong, China, Australia, Indonesia, Malaysia, uh, England, yep, and uh, Saudi Arabia. It's crazy. Now, were those all haunts, or are they just different? Uh, Saudi Arabia was a laser tag arena I did for the laser runner out of Canada, and the rest of them were all haunted houses. Indonesia, you travel, it's it's a basically 37 of your, of your 37 hours of your life is gone from the time you leave the airport to the other airport Take it, yeah and then five hours of a awesome ride through their highways and seeing families go by seven deep in a motorcycle kids on the steering wheel two kids hanging off the side um, other guys are sleeping on trucks going by uh, and then you go to the villages. Now, I'm going to do a haunted house, but the real horror is going through these villages where people are sitting there and their hands have been chopped off, their eyeballs have been plucked out. They got somebody there collecting money for them. And their money's worth like $10,000 every one of our American dollars. So I have like $4 million <laughs> of their money in my head. And I just, they pull up and they surround the car. Other people say, I'm blind. Oh, you know, and, and, and you can see, I mean, you know, it's just it's just revolting, and you're just like, you're taking please, yeah, please take, take everything money. I have. Like, get away from me! <laughs> like, and um, you know, I, I was I was talking to you guys a couple days ago. I think every every kid coming out of high school today it's barking about wanting fifteen bucks an hour to sit there and flip a burger, but can't spell their own name. I need to spend one week in some of these godforsaken countries and see how good they. Yeah, got really it. see what what uh, it's all about. Just, so they cut their hands off. <laughs> Because, why do they do beggars. that? They'll chop their own kids' arms off. They do that in India, too. They sit there and chop arms off, legs off, that sort of thing. So if they beg well enough and they suffer well enough in this life, when they get reincarnated, they'll come back, hopefully, in a better cast. Wow. So, That's um, and then... Getting attacked by the monkeys. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, well, Brian likes monkeys. I yeah, love monkeys. Yeah, Brian's you love monkeys. a big you monkey. You wouldn't like these monkeys. Brian's no, a big monkey. No, I have a huge fear of monkeys, and yeah, fear of I'm monkeys. not afraid to. Now, is that every that. kind of monkey? Like, what about, <laughs> like, chimpanzees? Yeah, those, those think, are the big monkeys. I, I think yeah, yeah, the little, too, the little, the those and the ones with the big, ones like the big face. flat face. Oh, that's no, that's big. that's the. Uh, I don't know what it is. Orangutan? Yeah. The orangutan. It's the Baboons? Oh, man. They're all bad. They're all bad. Gorillas. Gorillas yeah. are badass. <laughs> They're, I'll give I mean, them gorillas that. Are yeah. badass. You know, I think, it's, are. I think it's a medium size. They get a hold of you, you're pretty much toast. Yeah. yeah, like if I could be like <laughs> something besides human, I might say gorilla because those things are badass. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> You'd be in a lot of movies. <laughs> I mean, you go. I go to the zoo. I mean, I've never seen one like, you know, natural habitat. But you go to the zoo and I look at those things, I'm like, that thing's badass. Yeah, but you would not want to visit that thing out in the jungle. No. no, no. Now, I got out of the job site about 8 o'clock at night. And park is closed. I think I was the only. I mean, security wasn't even there. And I'm coming that out, I should have told you just, something right there. Yeah, they should. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. It's, it's, and, it, and it's graying out. I mean, everything's all gray and stuff. And the sun's going down, and you see these things whipping through the trees. You know, and you're just like, oh, what was that? <laughs> you know, yeah. you go, and all the garbage cans are turned over, and the place is just crawling with these little gray monkeys. And they said, do not get cornered by these monkeys they call them jungle piranha oh. and if the uh alpha male says hey hop them they're gonna be on you so you gotta puff yourself up make yourself bigger but i was walking real slowly and it says i see them they were crawling through the restaurant i just ate it that day that day i mean all over the place opening a restaurant and then all of a sudden you could hear them all squawking and then quiet and just kind of turn around <laughs> and there they all are just eyeballing you they got moms there with their little babies. <laughs> and I was just, just repulsive. I wish I had a shotgun. <laughs> it's like just nasty things. And they're eyeballing you, and you just, you know, I said, hold on. you just stand? I mean, you just kind of, you just kind of, <laughs> yeah. just, yeah. Just, you just wave. Stand there. You wave. You, know, you just wait. Wait, you know, <laughs> guys. 
crap from Peter. Oh, right. <laughs> I thought you meant. You, I thought. I thought you said uh, you just wave like you just. Oh hey. no no yeah. no no no. no that's, you're, yeah, you're, you just you're wave. Saying, don't don't wave. I would no. You don't want to <laughs> guess not. And and um. That's how they all wash their hands. You know, <laughs> I, I was just saying, Lord, I don't want to be eaten today. I don't want to be on CNN for the so wrong gonna, reason. So they're they're gonna attack you and they're gonna tear you up. Right. It's good. They're going for death. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. To eat you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's not just yeah, you to know, let you warn hey, you. Hey, I'm just here to see, do a uh, haunted house, okay? Everybody's like, "Oh, it's so cool you travel and stuff." Yeah, that wasn't cool, okay? I was just like, "I'm," but uh, luckily they they said, "Okay." But it's a good thing, it. right? Like you said, I mean, everyone needs to go to go experience something like that. Oh yeah, it gives you a whole new appreciation. Oh, I, I don't need to go to experience. No, any no, monkeys. no, no. It's just, uh, <laughs> no. Not when they had spiders that they weren't they weren't webbing it between blades of grass. They were webbing it between trees. How big okay. are they? Like, really? <laughs> are you kidding me? Yeah, you, know, you see those garden spiders that are black and yellow or yellow something? Yellow and yeah, 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 with yeah. the big yeah. butts and stuff? No. You could eat that thing and pick, pick your teeth with its legs, dude. I mean, it was scary. Oh. And, they, and, and they said, don't go into the jungle. I now, mean, what do you eat over there? Like a normal meal? You go out to dinner? Actually, no, monkeys no, and spiders? We, you know, we stayed in the hotel and ate right on the complex. Okay, so there was a restaurant we went to eat. Every time, and um, what are you doing, man? That's it. Oh, yeah. Boom. Um, you can hit it. And then there was um, shrimp, uh, lots of shrimp, lots of seafood. Um, their coffee you would have to filter, sift to drink. They. Why it, is that? It's. <laughs> Just put the spoon in the center and it don't move, dude. Oh. <laughs> That's how you wake up in the no, morning, No, you man. have a couple cups of that, uh-huh. man. You're lit. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> the day is on, man. Man, you'd be a pain and fool, though, dude. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, it's a funny thing is is the workers there, they're able to support themselves, but they didn't get paid enough to even buy a Coke at the job site. So I went up and bought 20 Cokes. And start handing it off to the workers. Man, you were in there like Trump. No, man, oh man, dude, I was the second coming, man. It, just, <laughs> it was just like, um, you know, they they would cap the thick room up and they they go, they sniff it and and just and then and then they would just nurse that. Thing just savor all it. Day long. Yeah. <laughs> was it uh, a little bit in their back pocket? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was it regular or diet? Oh no, does it matter? Coke Straight zero. Up, dude. Coke zero. <laughs> Coke zero. <laughs> They, had, they still had Coke. <laughs> they still had Coke Classic. <laughs> it was Coke Original. Classic, man. Original. But they had those little cans. Oh, yeah, because they're, they're little ones. people. Oh yeah. So well, that's not why they have the. No, little no, cans. they're little people, little kids. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not why they have them. <laughs> that's all they get. Yeah, you you know what they do too? Like when I was in Nicaragua, I noticed. So at the bottles and that, they just wash them out and reuse them at oh, the yeah. filling factories uh-huh. and stuff like that. Yeah, and it's uh, not like recycled. It's recycled in a different kind of kinda way. Kind of, sorta. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man. Hey Wayne, can you do me a, a favor and grab me a beer? Oberon. Thank you, Oberon. Is that the the? the no, I just want a beer. Get <laughs> 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 me a beer, man. <laughs> well, you, you want no, something? No, 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 okay. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this uh, this website again. So we're gonna go. It's www. S T U A R T A R T I Z M I Z M dash. We're gonna go. Oops. Dash. Online. Online. Dot info. Dot info. Now, do you um? I guess we're gonna find out right here. I was gonna ask, do you sell any? Do you sell any side work? Any small pieces on your website? Yes, I, not on the website yet. Soon. Okay. Uh, we had to get that up and running quickly for the trade show. Gotcha. Um, so. It's not uh, bad. Chris, Chris did a good job. No. Yeah. Um, no, I dig it. And. Um, thanks, bro. Hey, thanks, man. So we'll be adding a bunch <laughs> of stuff to it. Yeah, but that'll be come the winter time. I do a lot of stuff on eBay. Do you? Yeah. So we'll do pieces and throw them up on eBay. And oh, well, let me just say, and for anybody out there watches this, sees this, you really got to go check out his work. I think it's freaking amazing, man. I, and I sincerely mean that. I'm not blowing smoke up your ass because you're here. Um, no, <laughs> maybe, I sincerely maybe mean a little. I like it. <laughs> maybe a little bit. It feels so bit. good. Stop it. <laughs> I like it too much. You need to stop. I'm not understanding why I enjoy it so much. Look away, much. Chris. Look away. <laughs> no, 
I was checking out your work last night on Facebook, and you can find you on Facebook, Stuart Smith. Mm-hmm. At Facebook. At Facebook.com. Right? I guess that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> com, I guess that's yeah. what it is. I'm not, I don't know. And I got a business one up, Stewardism Designs as well. And then uh, we got the Crazy Pencil, and then we got UV and 3D art and murals. So, so yeah. you got groups. a few websites? Yes. We got all, and or the Facebook. YouTubes as well. Yeah. So okay. I got a big old YouTube page. Best portfolio. And I got to say that he he keeps those yeah. updated all the time. I mean, there's always something new. What's your uh, YouTube? New. YouTube is Airbrushing with Stewartism Designs, LLC. Stewart and Designs? Stewartism. Stewartism. That came you like from that. one of my customers. He says, Stuart, love what you do, but not too much Stuartism. Okay. Oh, uh, so, he wants you to so cut back the yeah. Stuart a little. Yeah, yeah. Tame it out a little. So what? Did, so and that just fired you up to. Yeah. Right. Right. Screw right. You. <laughs> <laughs> right exactly. So it's I like. Do you want me? I'm an artist, man. <laughs> so, yeah. So how do you. Yeah. I always like that. Yeah, if you go I like that saying. On the website, you can actually find the YouTubes right on there. On YouTube. Follow us on YouTube. Go to the website. Click follow us on YouTube. Mm-hmm. It should be. So you gotta see this stuff. It's so ridiculous. <coughs> it's so good. And we, uh, well, you're here finishing up our mm-hmm. uh, our three D maze. Which, honest, honest to God, I didn't know it was a three D. Yeah. I'm thinking that. UV is just <laughs> sweet. It looks awesome. Yeah, he came uh he came uh this morning to, <laughs> he came I see him this morning and he and he says, Hey, you know, uh what he, what he did, that's in three D and I was like, What? And he's like, Yeah, that's three yeah. D. Three D. So the glasses are coming and uh um, Yeah. As far as I know, mm-hmm. you're gonna be the only actual really cool three D around here. Nice. You know, which should be uh Well what's funny about it the story too is they had Stuart last year did the tunnel. The vortex the tunnel. The vortex yeah, tunnel. Right. He did the vortex tunnel for them, <laughs> and all of last year you didn't know it was. I had no 3D. idea it was three D. <laughs> we could have amped it up just that much more. We we, we and had did, no we clue. We did kind of chuckle at the hotel about I, that. I'm, I'm like sure that. I would have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. So I'm I'm excited to see. Uh, so I'm on your YouTube now. See that? Yeah. So I got I got four YouTube sites, and, and I need to um, really ramp up work on those. But. But if yeah. you don't mind, we're sure. gonna, we'll roll you some of. Maybe we'll be able to throw yeah. some of your videos. Yeah. Yep. Well, we'll show we'll show some stuff so going on is, here that he's scary doing too. Stories. I want um, one of the things I want to do is go into animation, so we're going to use that platform for that. Chris is a writer; she's got a bunch of stories. I want to sit there nice. and That's do awesome. a dramatized version of them, sound effects with some imagery and stuff. So, Very cool. So that. Right now, with my schedule, that's more of a winter thing than I, you know, when things are kind of calm down. You know, we usually sit there and take about three weeks to just go into a coma at the end of the year, and then yeah, decompress. Yeah, and then start back up again. So um, now, do you do you prefer the UV painting? I mean, because I first of all, I can't imagine you, you turn all the lights out and you have UV lights on, which just are automatically mess with your eyes. Mm-hmm. And oh yeah, you're in it all day long. All painting. day long. It may be sunny outside, but I'm in the dark. You know, yeah. and, and in uh, UV light, that's just blows have you my noticed mind. any side effects of that or no? Has no. It, does it bother? Um, have you talked to him? Um, <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> See? You know, I, I had a I had a cold. I got a, I got the flu about four years, five years ago, and I was down for December, January, and February. And it, it's not the pukey gaggies, but it was the Back aches and, and muscle pain. It was just horrible, and I was just like, "Man, I'm gonna die here." And then when I went to the trade show, they're like, "Stuart, what happened to you?" Because I lost 40 pounds. You know, it's just I got rid of the whole jowls and everything like that. So I'm like down because all you know. Did you lie and just tell them you've been working out? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I had the flu <laughs> diet, man. It's the best way to go. <laughs> right. You know, Three you're, days, you know, 60 but pounds lighter. At that time, I noticed that now when I was driving down the road, that there was two stop signs, not one. And so my eyes got screwed up oh. at that time. Always had good vision until that cold. And so Chris and I are talking about going to the doctor and getting glasses because I could do my artwork just fine. Yeah. It's driving down the road and <clears> trying <throat> to read the signs and stuff. Is but as an artist, control. that's got to be scary. Yeah. 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 It's, you know, and, and um, so right now, as far as being able to do the artwork and this and that, it's fine. Yeah. And then, um, but anything else you know when you're doing this trying to read a book or 
If oh, I, I can't see. Like I can't see shit half the time. I yeah. got Brian reading. Yeah, he's got me reading, and I and I'm not much better, so I don't know why you're having me read stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, it might be right. So, <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. You know, I'm not a guy to put things in my eyeballs either, so it's going to have to be glasses. Yeah, right. You know, so yeah. So when okay, so you do the UV, and then I know you do a lot of stuff that isn't UV. Right. Is do you prefer either of those or? No, did, I I actually I actually prefer the UV. When I do the animations, I'll do it in UV. Really. Nice. Um, because, really? it, c- because the colors are so intense. Yeah. yeah, they pop. You know, I don't really have to do a lot of color correction in the computer or anything like that because they're just really there. So, um, all your saturation's already there. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's there. So, all these animations on there were done in UV. So, really? working in a black yeah. environment and works out nice. I, I like that because um, when I was doing the animations in regular light, a lot of work goes and involved with color correcting and this and hey look this shot doesn't look like this one and and mm-hmm. so doing it in uv yeah just too much in yep. post gives to me, try to yep gives me all i need you know so well you're i mean and besides the uv i mean just i know from when i was checking out your facebook your pencil drawings are amazing well i appreciate that that's that's been doing those a long time far longer than the airbrushing so matter of fact i picked it up again six seven years ago and and it was amazing how much i had lost that you know had to try to regain yeah you know from when i was doing it way back when so so i airbrush by day and then when chris and i watch movies at night i draw Draw. Yeah. So and you put out the uh, that uh, it's an adult coloring book mm-hmm. as far as yeah those are all done while I was watching TV <laughs> <laughs> really man <laughs> well yeah and we, let's talk about that for a moment so yeah. last night actually I went on Amazon and ordered uh, Bio Dreams mm-hmm. right yeah and then uh, found out today you have another one that's yep. coming Shadow, out or did it Shadow come out Shadow Life is already out Shadow Life both uh, digital download and the actual paperback paperback so. I ordered the paperback on Amazon can you find both of those on Amazon mm-hmm. yep. So Shadow Life and Shadow Life um, by Stuart Smith and Bio Dreams. Okay. Man, we should carry them at our gift shop. Actually, I can get you a phone number for that, so you can actually go to them and buy in bulk. Right. Okay. And that'd be kind of cool. When did you come out with Bio Dreams? Bio Dream came out um, March or April, and they kind of screwed up because, you know, they said, "Hey, do a hundred pages, this and that." Well, I think it was like fifty-four bucks. And I called them up and said, look, people, nobody's going to pay $54 for this thing. Okay. Somebody did. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I was like, okay, <laughs> kudos. But uh, um, so I, I had to have them change it up around and said, now it's down to 42 pages. The next one is 22. And it just gives a price break. So that one's fifteen ninety nine. So I'm just thinking about just putting out all these little ones. Um the next one are the pencil pieces you were looking at. Those are going to be the next coloring book. Okay, so it's great wow. skill. So, um, you doing any posters or anything? Not doing posters, but I mean, we can, uh, Brian can hook you up with a guy for that. Oh, really? Let me think about it. I like, <laughs> I like you, Brian. Mm. Mm. Um, we're looking at uh, puzzles. No, oh, yeah. Trying to find a publisher that could do the, the big 3D UV puzzles. Anybody out there? Be, 3D and, um, UV puzzles. Um, so that sounds like a band. 3D yeah. UV puzzles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and coming up that's next, a, that's a freebie. <laughs> <laughs> Get the dot com UV quick. <laughs> so we're looking at that. Um, just we're looking at the residual. I mean, if I'm not airbrushing, I'm not making money. Right. So we're looking at the residuals. Of what can butter. I do to have? You know, and we're not even looking to sit there and drive Lamborghinis. We, we just want to make sure we're taken care of. So, I agree. I hear and, you. You know, if something happens to me, Chris has all this stuff I, coming yep. in from all different directions. Yep. Okay. And then she's got enough artwork at home that she could do all sorts of things with and not have to. Well, absolutely. Worry about, and know. as an artist, That's too, cool. I mean, unfortunately, it's unfortunately a lot of art isn't valued enough. Yeah. Like and a lot of artists have to struggle or not necessarily always struggle, but you always have to hustle. To mm-hmm. keep trying to figure out how to make money, and it's really unfortunate when you come across talented artists that have to constantly try to think of how am I going to set up my family, how am I going to set something up so I have something down the road, not right. just paycheck to paycheck. And that I find that to be a real shame because with somebody at your skill level 
and your talent that shouldn't be that shouldn't be something you well, have to worry about it's it's something we've dealt with but the one thing that it does give you is i'm my own guy i've had opportunities to go with different organizations and stuff and i don't play well with others okay i'm not going to take instruction i'm not going to be you know i actually was thinking about going back to school and get my degree and then get my master's so as things go down because We've been traveling the country forever, and hey, I'm seeing it. I'm good. Okay, I, right. you know, uh, possibly teach or something like that. But then we were thinking about spending all this money and sitting in behind the desk between some whippersnapper that doesn't know his butt from a hole in the ground how to be an artist. All he's ever done is go to school, and I'm traveling the world being an artist, and it's like, you're not not mm, sure that's not, necessarily not what you sure want to go back to. That's what I yeah. want to be doing. <laughs> that is a sad part about uh, you know you have the degree, and they're like, oh, okay, you. You're in. Yeah, exactly. I can't draw my way out of a paper bag, but, right, but you're I in. Agree, you know? Yeah. Um, so you know, we, we, we like the it's it's a beautiful thing at the end of the year. You just kinda sit and drool. Well, yeah, and, and I mean, and, I mean, and, um, <laughs> it, it, you know, it's, it's like, well, it's just, I'm going to shower, I'm going to sit there in my gag, you know, and just give me my monster, you know, right. like, give me thoughts, I'm good, you know. It's like, you know, it's, I mean, because we love Sloth's Fright Furnace. But like two days after we arrive, they would know it's our last haunt we're going to do this year. <laughs> Can't wait to leave. Okay, we got our picture. End of the season. You know, I, I I I got the dirt on my shoes. We're good. Okay, let's get this job done and get home. Get home. <laughs> so I got to tell you the stuff that. So so he's back there painting, and I didn't. I tried to stay out of there. Yeah. I didn't. I wanted a, a surprise. Didn't want to be sucked I, yeah, in, man. Yeah. <laughs> and Wayne over here frank and wayne frank and wayne <laughs> frank and wayne wayne's like i'm going in and so so he, he ends up you know getting me to go in there by just all i hear him is going oh oh dude oh you got us oh my god <laughs> so i i end up following him wayne in hasn't had an orgasm like that since like 1996 <laughs> But, it's uh, all right, bro. A towel, dude. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It's like, hey, don't get it on the floor, man. Yeah, they have worked hard on that. You know? <laughs> but no, it's just it's so impressive. And well, you guys, yeah. I mean, even if if anybody you know sees this, wants to even go on uh, uh, Facebook, Awaken. Yeah, Awaken Haunt. Awaken Haunt. Yeah. And uh, there's some work that's been done in the haunt here. Yeah, we've been kind of updating. We don't want to give everything away, but no, no we're, we're no, throwing I'll out. Well, I think stuff. Stuart did because I was looking at well, Stuart's he did. page last yeah. night. Yeah, I, was I like, posted. I think you know, he posted never mind. The whole thing. You said I Everybody. could. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you said Have I could. A look. I mean, the last job I was at, I was there for three weeks, and I was jonesing because it's like, don't post anything on Facebook, man, because it's like the contract and stuff. Oh, yeah, man. but you know what? Yeah, because here's the thing. He says, just a sneak peek, dude. Just a sneak yeah. No, no, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the experience of seeing it on Facebook and walking through it here. Yeah. Is, and mean, in 3D, which I can't 3D. wait to experience. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've, been wait, I've been waiting a year for I'm this, apparently. I'm taking myself for not yeah. bringing the 3D glasses because I figured, you know. And you're doing it. You're going to do it in 3D, right? You're going to yeah. pass oh, yeah. out the glasses. Oh, yeah. And we have to. Yeah, you do now that you know, right? Now that I know, I'd, yeah. Yeah, I'd feel kind of stupid if I did. Yeah, I'd be kind of, well, now I'd, Well, don't tell anybody, dude. Now, yeah. nobody <laughs> knows. <laughs> nobody right. knows. Right. <laughs> yeah, right, no kidding. Nobody nobody does know. No, no, nobody knows. No. So what? Uh, so after us, what's your next uh, location? I go home, got to clean up the equipment. She's going to go get the uh, oil change of the truck, and I'm heading for uh, Longview, Texas. Wow. On Sunday. How long are you down there? You, you just got back from Texas. I know. I'm going back. It's a big state. It is. It's my third time this year going to Texas. Is it really? <laughs> and you drive down too, right? Oh yeah. So that's so that's for a haunt. Yes. Um, let's see, you know, what is it? Um, Greystone Manor. Greystone Manor in Longview, Texas. It's um, nice lady Sue, and uh, it's a small place, but she spent a good time building it. So we're excited to go down and take care of her. You know, always that's uh, that's cool. I always wondered in those haunts down there, like you get in the south and let's say Florida or you know some of the haunts down there and the outside haunts, like. And I'm not a big fan of snakes, so Brian's no, a, Brian's I'm afraid not of, either, dude. No, snakes. Brian's Brian snake. Brian's what? afraid of monkeys. I don't like snakes. You don't like, you I don't like have, snakes? I don't have no problem with a snake. Are you You're kidding, kidding me? me? Yeah. I see when I kill it, dude. I just get the hell out of there. <laughs> yeah, but did, you remember when, you remember when that, that snake took on King to Kong? I mean, the big oh, monkey, yeah, 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 snake yeah. against a monkey. Yeah, well, yeah. Really. But uh, the snake did lose. No, so. I, I, uh, not in favor of snakes. No, so yeah, when you're down there, too. big bugs. Yeah, big bugs. So when big you're down bugs. there, I mean, when you're at some of those places, and you know, and you're in the, the creepy crawly areas, I mean, uh -huh. you come across some of that, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's not cool. No, Kentucky. 
they have things called chiggers. They said, Steer, you stay out of them white bushes. And I said, whatever. <laughs> you know, what is, what is a hick, though? You know, I like, <laughs> well, kid's, got, tick? kid's got three teeth hanging out of his head, you know, whatever. You know, so I grabbed my compressor and hauled it through the white bushes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a rough night, you know. <laughs> and so there I am lying naked on the bed. Screaming in a pillow while Chris has a needle and fingernail polish removal popping all those little tick chiggers oh. on my head oh while the kids God. are outside the door laughing at my misery. Yeah, oh, that seems like that kid knew what he was talking about, didn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it does. Yeah. Yeah. I always trust the locals. Never apologize to him, though. I feel kind of bad. Yeah, that. yeah. You know, like, I used to travel the country, and I, one thing I did learn was always trust the locals. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you know I mean? and they had, I mean, at night, I would, I would have Fear Factory playing on their big speakers and i'm working in the 3d maze and i am a human bug zapper i mean it's just crawling all over you and i got that thing cranked and the bugs in the trees are overpowering the speakers i could barely hear the music really over the bugs in, you know, in the trees <laughs> and we're out in the woods you know it's just, it's a it was a whole movie theme thing where they had all these little haunted houses all throughout this trail and uh yeah, it was it was um, be out there at night and big old spiders. And if I saw a big spider, oh. I'd spray it with UV paint so I could keep an eyeball on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not a prop. That's a, that's a real thing. That's wow. funny. Yep. That's, okay, I know you are. Okay. Before yeah. you know it, you've just yeah. got all kinds of shit around your right. moving. That's well, cool, crazy. man. I appreciate you coming and chatting with us and all yeah, that good stuff. Happy to do so. And being here, I can't Stopping wait till we are going to gonna uh, try a beer. Yeah, Wait, we got the uh, beer. Okay, we're gonna, we got the, uh, the scary, scary good beer. Good beer, scary yep. good beer. Scary good beer. Let's pop that it's more open. like pop that cooler open. Is it a scary good beer? We got some beer. glasses there. Grab oh, okay, cool. Yeah, uh, yeah, we do it right, brother. Uh, all right, we do it right. Fine for you. Nice. All right. Boom. Well, thank you, sir. Uh huh. Thank you, sir. Okay. Here. And what we're gonna do? We got three yeah, of let's them get, down there. We got let's four. Get this one out of the shot. Get that one out. Yeah, don't worry. We get we keep. I, it cold, I have baby. not seen these either, so I, I need no... an opener. Wayne, can you grab us an opener, please? <laughs> Just so, use, your, use um, your teeth. Yeah, use my teeth. Please don't do that. Yeah, no, I will not. <laughs> Whoa, you, sir. He's, he's right on the ball yes. with that one. Frank and Wayne, fr Frank and Wayne, he's our producer back here. He doesn't know it yet, but Frank that's Wayne, what he is. Won't show self so here's there. what we have. We have um we have Warlock. Who makes that? Black Water Series Warlock. Southern. Ooh. I don't know. Okay. What, what? Southern Tier Brewing Company. Southern Tier is? Brewing Company. Where are they from? Are they, does it say on there where they're um, from? We have never tried. Well, they're, one of they're us, Southern, one of I think. Are, I would guess so. It's in the name. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of places in the Southern. South, though. <laughs> there is a lot of places. <laughs> So, this is 100% uh, alcohol. Oh no, there's a there's a 100%. There's a 100%. There's a straight There's a decimal, so it's a, it's 10% oh, alcohol boy. by volume. 10%. I got you there, Stuart. Okay, I appreciate that. No blood. problem. Oh yeah. It's an imperial boy. stout oh, brewed stout. with pumpkins. Hey. What? Yeah. It's it that's what it says. Yeah, it's called Warlock. And, and natu actually, we got natural a flavors. Here. I'm going to put this in front of your face. Okay. We got a close up here of uh of, of of the bottle. There you go, Stuart. Uh, this is well, my Warlock. Watch the, yeah, watch the, you're covering the label. Oh, okay. I'm no, that's pretty sorry. cool. I mean, it's got a on. it's got a it's got a come little uh, black pumpkin. Yeah, it got a little with pumpkin. a witch. Oh, a wizard hat. Super cool. Looks like yeah. a wizard hat. Yeah, it looks like a wizard hat. I just picked that up. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Just picked these up today. Never tried them. Hold on. Hold cheers and uh, yeah, it's gonna. Hey, hold on there, Stu. Hold on there, brother. Oh, I, this oh, I, this gonna is gonna be, be good. It's gonna be good. I can tell you it's right now, this is gonna be my beer. Well, I hope they're not shitty. <laughs> <laughs> smells kind of funky, dude. <laughs> All right. Um, so, no, wait, cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Great. Good to meet you, Chris. Yep. Good to meet you, Stuart. Bam. You too, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. That's actually not bad. That's got a nice pumpkin pie taste yeah. to it. Yeah. Was that's a little really bit of that's really good. You, you got to try it. This is really Stu? good. Stu, are you with us, brother? No, I am not. Are you? Are you <laughs> <laughs> no, give it, give are it another. You hey, you know what I just you did know what? You I tried take sushi. <laughs> I tried sushi, sushi just a little bit ago, everybody. Brian so is, tried sushi for the first yep. time in his life. You come yep. over, I'll make in, you calamari, dude. Hot squid and octopus. I'm action, coming dude. over. Man. I love 
Kelly. And I'll like it? You, think? you will love You'll it. You'll love it. Okay. We'll get a couple of these in you. You'll be chowing down <laughs> oh, yeah. on it. Uh, no, this is so, what, this is, you don't like it. Just, Let me ask you, are you a beer drinker? Mm-hmm. You are? Yeah. I'm more of a Budweiser guy. <laughs> so, no, you're not a beer drinker. <laughs> like water so, with a what? little bit of beer flavor. I got you. This, this is, cool. this is really, really good. good. I think it's really good. Now, so, do you get a do you get uh, these how many are, these, come in a this pack? Four pack. Four pack. Four pack. Is it pretty reasonable? It? Reasonable price. That depends on what's reasonable to you. I think this was, I want to say it was about sixteen dollars for four. Sixteen. Stu- I don't think Stewart's enjoying. That. Sixteen. <laughs> you better enjoy it, dude. Did you just hear me? It was sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollars a bottle. No, oh. <laughs> no. I think that's what it was, though. I could be wrong. This is uh, this is. But tasty. I think it's really good. I think it's amazing. <laughs> If I see is, why they oh, charge. Yes, it is so glorious. Oh, no, you can say aroma. it sucks. Mm. Oh, you got to try this. Such a stout walk, walk, walk freaking Budweiser drinker. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne, this is so good. Or Wayne, you got so good. <laughs> we got to have other people test this because I we think got some behind the scenes. Brian's yeah. wife. She she loves Jen, dark beers. Try it. No, what? no. What? She's, she does not like it. <laughs> she's, if you could have seen her face. <laughs> she's, I mean, she, she Jen, you don't shy. even no. Jen, you don't even have to say anything. She, she's gonna shy. I saw I saw a little she's something. Pumpkin rind. I saw this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, are, well, you, I think it's pretty do you like it? <laughs> Wayne, you wanna try Come this? On. You gotta try it. Okay. Come on, Chris. Chris, you got to take a sip. Wayne, it's, it, Frank, and we got to take a sip. Try it? No. Come on. Smell the bottle. That's smell the bottle. <laughs> it, Here, I poured Chris, it in there. Drink what's in that. You don't I just have poured to it in just the glass. Take a, just take it a has whip. a pumpkin. It has a it has a pumpkin taste to it. It's really. It's not gonna jump out. I at mean, you. it's not gonna kill you. I think it's Wayne, kind of a nice little vanilla. <laughs> I think it actually has a nice little vanilla. I, I like it. I think it's awesome. I think it's really. I good can't too. say that enough. Huh? I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna. I like. I'm gonna, I can get us more. Down I, the road. I, I think I we contact this company and see if we can get a case of it. Yeah, I I like it. And send it to Stewart. Oh, send it to Stewart. <laughs> I like it. Warlock. Yeah. Um, I'd give this at least an eight out of ten. I would give it eight out of ten bloody skulls. <laughs> All right, we're out. All right. Peace. Thank you. Thank you, sir.